welcome back. It is 6.17 in the morning. And if you don't believe me, I'm literally going to show you my microwave. So that way you can see. Look at that. It's backwards, but it says 6.17. I don't know how else I could show it to you. My watch. 6.17 a.m. I have been up since 5.45. Woke up at 545, did my makeup. <laughs> no, I just put on mascara. Um, now I'm making a sandwich, which will probably be the last sandwich that I'll eat for a while because I planned on going low carb this fall semester. Anyways, pre-K chronicles. Let's talk about this day so far. All right, so back to the makeup thing. Usually I would wake up at like 515 the latest and the reason I would wake up at 5 15 is because um I had to do my makeup foundation powder blush little eyeshadow mascara if I felt adventurous I would do um <clears throat> oh I'm making a sandwich too sorry um I would also like do the full face you know this a little bit there we go um but since the school's providing us masks that we're required, because we're wearing a mask and a shield, right? Well, the school told us on Friday that we can only wear the face mask they're providing. And the last time I wore a, ma a mask and makeup, I always break out. See, I have pimples there and some pimples here. I break out. Um, and that's just because sometimes I'll wear it when my boyfriend and I, if we, if we do go out to dinner, I always break out. Um... <clears throat> So, I made the decision not to wear makeup this year. Chucks. <laughs> no, that's fine. And um, the mask also is white. And every time, I don't know about y'all, but every time I wear makeup um, and a mask, it like rubs off. So, I just made the decision not to wear makeup this year. <clears throat> but anywho... Status. So, which I also need to take some bobby pins because I heard the mask was really big. So my plan is to like pin it. Uh, hopefully that will work. But so far, we don't have a schedule. There is no schedule for us for lunch. But since we only have six kids. She said we could take it like whenever we wanted, but there were certain times of the day, like at the motor lab, I guess they don't want us to take it because those are like important to children and I guess we both have to be vigilant. So taking a sandwich. Yeah, my first year teaching, I eat sandwiches like every day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a sandwich, some yogurt, and uh, waking up early can I just say that if you're a teacher if you're thinking about being a teacher and you just happen to come across this this vlog just be aware that you're gonna have to wake up early the rest of your life whether it's lower levels or high school it's you're on that early schedule <coughs> um I was never a morning person, I was always a late person. So when I became a teacher, it took some adjusting. It's still, I don't, I hate waking up at this time. In college, the only time I ever woke up at this time was when um, I had to catch a flight to go home. So. <laughs> Okay, 
So I'm going to pull out. This is what I have to do. I'm going to do it right now. I need to pull out the meat that I need to meal prep. Because I'm going to meal prep tonight. Like, even though I'm exhausted, I need to meal prep. Because my goal is to eat low carb while at school. Um, I weigh 184 right now, holding strong. And I want to be down to 175 by November or Thanksgiving. So, um, it's a really obtainable goal. It's only 10, 9 pounds. Um, but I have to be committed. And I was supposed to be carb-free by today, but unfortunately that didn't work out. And I'm not going to starve myself, so, um, I'm making a sandwich. And I'm going to take some veggie straws and some yogurt <clears throat> for lunch today. And then come home, work out, and then meal prep. I also have to pick up the dogs because they're at grandma's right now. That's another reason I'm able to vlog this early because I don't have Leighton, my little pup, messing with me. Um, so I gotta pick up him and then our dryer is still down. Uh, we're trying to find someone to fix it because we decided it would probably be a good investment to fix it versus dealing with the buying a whole new one, having them install it, getting rid of the old one, especially now that we're back in school. So... John's parents are helping us by washing our clothes, which is like a su the sweetest thing ever. Um, my goal is just to vlog about today, and that's it. That's all y'all are getting, or the first day back, <laughs> and then I'll vlog more. But anyways, um, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna finish doing all that. Um, I have a change of clothes ready, so when I get off work today. I'm going to go to John's dad's house and take all this off, and he's going to wash it. Uh, just because, you know, like I said, I'm going into direct exposure. I had to prepare. Um, so let's see. Yeah. So pack my sandwich, load those clothes, make sure my bag's packed, pack plenty of water. And, um, yeah. Let's get this day started. Six kids, not too bad. Usually we start off with 20, so um, we'll see how it goes. The only thing that I'm really worried about today is I do have a set of twins. Um, I've never taught a set of twins in the same classroom. Usually they always separate them, but because of corona, we have to keep them together. I don't know how that's going to work. I know one is a little bit more dominant than the other. So <clears throat> I'm just going to have to see how that goes today. Um... But, fingers crossed, it'll be a good year. Fingers crossed, today will go decent. Um, like I said, I don't know my lunch schedule. Uh, yeah. It's different. I feel like this is a brand new school opening up day one. But, I think it'll be good. It feels good. It feels okay. A little different. All right, I'll check in with y'all later. Here we go, let's do this. End of the day check-in. I survived, y'all. I survived the first day going back face to face. Look at this. Shield hair in full effect. Yes, that shield was no fun with the mask. It was constant fog right here. <laughs> like right here in this periphery, right, right here. Constant fog, terrible. Anyways, it's over. I survived. If I have to look back on the day, um, if I had to give my day, like rate my day, se uh, seven, I would give it a seven, 10 being the highest, one being the lowest. It wasn't super great. It, I don't think it was even good. I mean, I think probably for the children it was good. Uh, I would have to give it a fair, a fair day. You know, we have the typical for day one stuff. Where do I go? What has happened? Like, <laughs> getting used to the schedule. That's typical day one stuff that you experience. Now we have the COVID stuff that we have to deal with too. So um, <clears throat> the keeping the shield on. I told him you're only allowed to take the shield off when you eat, sleep, or go outside. If you're doing one of those three things, the shield can come off. If you're not, the shield stays on. Um, and I think we just need to reiterate that more and more and more. I don't think we did that enough. So that was probably a mistake on our part. But overall, I mean, like I said, it was a day seven. Uh, did I feel super gross at the end of the day? Yes. Did I feel contaminated? Yes. I was covered in germs. And I'm not being dramatic. I'm being literal. Uh, I had one child wipe their boogers on my jeans. Like, literally. Because the shield only goes to about here. Like, it's, like, if this is their face, it's probably, like, right here. So they can stick their hand 
under their shield. So he went to town, wiped it on my jeans. I mean, that's not the first time it hasn't happened. I mean, that's happened before COVID, but now that it's in a COVID world, it's a little bit different. So of course I, you know, soap and water washed it off, but I left those jeans at my boyfriend's parents' house because they're gonna wash them. Um, so I'm glad we have that plan. And then the second time I was like severely exposed to germs uh, was when um, a child did not want to wear the mask. So in our world of teaching pre-K, how we do it here, they get two choices. They either can, like this is an example, they can wear the mask or the shield, I'm sorry. They can wear the shield and go with the other children but if they choose not to wear the shield, then they're gonna sit away from those children and they're gonna sit with me over here at a table. And when they're ready to put it on, then we can go over there. But until they're not, if they're not ready, then they're not gonna do, then they're not gonna go over there. And it was, it was A or B. Right now you're showing me that you want to not go over there because you don't wanna wear your shield. Reiterating that, reiterating that over and over and staying chill is the work of, I mean, that's a chronicle right there. Uh, that's that's you know four years of training <laughs> for me um so of course naturally for them it's upsetting they don't want to hear that it's like I'm telling them no in another way even though I'm not directly saying no I'm giving them some boundaries and you know they don't like it so the reaction was I want to try and hit so I block I block the kicking needs to stop because I just kept on doing those reiterating things again um, when they noticed that wasn't getting a reaction out of me or the reaction they wanted, they decided to spit. Luckily, I put my arm up like this and the spit was actually, it wasn't, it was more getting back on them. I could feel it on my arm getting wet uh, on the on the sweater. So I, I mean, I took off the sweater, I washed up to my hands up to here. So that way it was off. The sweater's being soaking right now in like antibacterial stuff. But I mean... when the child sees that there's no reaction, then they stop. And, and they did, they stopped. The child stopped, waited, and realized, wow, I'm one, I'm not getting a reaction out of her. Two, this is no fun. Look, I see all them having fun, and all I have to do is put on the shield. Okay, fine, I'm ready, let's put on the shield, I wanna go. Problem solved. Um, which I was expecting, I just didn't expect the big emotion, like the big reaction to it, especially that big. But as long as, you know, I stay consistent like that with all of them, they'll, they'll get that, okay, these, these kinds of things don't work. Um, because they do, they feed off your emotions. Uh, if I could reflect on all my years, pre-COVID, uh, have I been spit on before? Yeah, have I been slapped? Yes, have I been kicked? Yes, have I been punched? Yeah, have I been pushed? <laughs> Plenty of times. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, I don't take it personal. I really don't. Like, it doesn't offend me at all. It's just they're reactive, you know? And they're, for some reason, they don't like what they're hearing. They're, it's going to make them upset. And most young children will respond in a physical way if they feel like they're not, they're not one getting what they want or validated. So usually I just reiterate, and that's what I did with this incident too. I, I just kept on reading, you're really upset. I can tell you don't like being over here. You want to go over there. I can tell you don't like hearing that. Like I just kept on reiterating, like I, you're upset, you're angry, all these other things. And um, it's just acknowledging that, that I see these things coming from them. And eventually after, I would have to say about 10 minutes. So that whole incident lasted about 10 minutes. I've had them last longer. 30, 45 minutes to an hour. So, I mean, that's, yeah, that's pre-K. <laughs> that's a chronicle right there. Uh, but as long as you're consistent and learn not to take it personally, because I don't. Um, I've been called ugly. I've been told I was stupid. I've been told all kinds of things. I don't take it personal at all. They're young. They don't know what they're saying. It's just being emotional. It's not personal. Um, I still love them. I'm going to love that child no less than I did tomorrow. You know, today it's the same. Nothing changes. And tomorrow's a new day. So um, I just kept reminding myself, you know, he's learning right now. So 
any reaction you have, anything you say, anything you do that's not consistent, he's gonna learn. Oh, well, she did this and this. So I did my best to stay consistent. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that was probably the biggest chronicle I had today. So that's why I felt so gross when I left. So I went home, I went to my boyfriend's dad's house, I sprayed my entire body with Lysol, and then I took off my clothes, I put on these workout clothes, and um, I left my clothes there, and then I forgot, the sweater was in the back of the, my car, so I took it out and it's soaking right now. Uh, and the only reason it's soaking is because, you know, it was, it was it literally in the direct contact of the spit. So, I mean, that thing is just super contaminated. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go get a workout in. Maybe probably about 30 minutes, 45 minutes at the most. Just get some cardio, get some more steps in. And then I am going to come home, make my meal prep for the week. My boyfriend's going to make some pork chops. <laughs> I'm excited about the pork chops. He's gonna make some pork chops and mashed potatoes and some green beans. I'm excited about that meal. And just relax, because tomorrow's a new day. And like I said, it was only five of them today. For me, five, it's like this. It's super easy in the aspect that there's only five. So I only have to manage five. So that's easy peasy. Like that's easy to monitor in terms of like looking, looking, looking. You know, it's not like 10 or 12 where you're like, okay, wait, what, what, I got six here and what? No, it's just like, I got five, okay. What was difficult I found about it is that your large group time goes by like that. Your small group time goes by like that, you know? Your, like it just, it's, yeah, there's less. So it takes less time. So in terms of expanding, that took a little bit longer, but I mean, it is what it is. It, that's not nothing like stressful or anything. Hmm. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Hmm. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna stress over the things I can't control. I can't control that I only had five today or that I might have six tomorrow. Um, I can't control in the two weeks I'm gonna have six and seven again or whatever the number is. I'm not, I can't, I'm not gonna stress over it. I can't control it, so. But what I can control is the interactions between me and the children and getting them on board. I can control that. That's all on me and how I respond and interact with them and I'm prepared. So, yeah. But it's over. <laughs> I survived. I'm definitely going to say overall if I look at my kids from this group and the rest of my group, I probably got my work cut out for me. Uh... But oh, it's done. I did it. I survived. It's over. Woohoo! Time to go work out. Pre K Chronicles. Day one, going back face to face. I survived. I will check in or make another vlog video again this week. But please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, especially if you're thinking about going into teaching, you are a teacher subscribe because that's what we're going to talk about teacher life and the things teacher chronicles i mean pre-k chronicles what is it that we go through and we experience and our thoughts and our emotions because they're very real uh i just feel like there's not enough that we're not talking about them enough so all right i'm done i did it man i did it Whew. okay see y'all later bye